It's not just about regulation. A big factor in AI is cost. How much money do we need to operate artificial intelligence models? Earlier, the consensus was clear. Billions and billions of dollars, that's what you needed. But China's deep seek has appended that trend. Suddenly, everyone is talking about cheap AI. And that includes Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. He says the cost of AI usage is coming down considerably by almost 10 times every year. We'll explain what he's talking about, but first some basics. We can divide AI costs into three. The first is setting up the hardware, your data centers, your chips and other facilities, that is the hardware. The second is training your model, basically feeding data into it. And finally, the cost of using it. How much will each operation cost you? That is what the world has to figure out. Sam Altman was talking about this last cost, the cost of using AI models. In these models, information is broken down into what they call tokens. Think of them as pieces of words. Most tokens include four English characters. For example, consider the sentence, Chad GPT is great. So the word Chad is a token, G is a token, PT is a token, and so is great. That is how tokens work, roughly. Users like you and me do not really have to care about it, but say you're integrating Chad GPT into your office, or you're licensing their AI interface, then you must pay for these tokens. Look at their prices in 2023. Around $0.03 for 1,000 tokens. That's what it cost. Now look at the prices in 2024. $5 per million tokens. Do you see the drop in price here? Within a year. And this is just for ChatGPT's AI system. Every AI platform has a different rate structure. Google's Gemini will have its own prices. France's Mistral will be different. You can choose based on the cost and your needs. Now let's come back to Sam Altman and what he said. He says the cost of these tokens is falling 10 times every year, meaning it could be dirt cheap down the line and cheaper AI equals more usage. More companies will be encouraged to integrate artificial intelligence. That's what OpenAI is predicting at least. And remember, this is the cost of using an AI model. The cost of creating one is a lot higher. You need a lot of expensive components like data centers to collect and store information, high-tech chips to train the models, and of course, skilled employees. American companies are leading this spending spree at the moment. In 2024, four of them invested $223 billion. That's Meta, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Now imagine that, four companies, more than $200 billion. But this year, they're expected to surpass that from $223 billion to $325 billion. This is mind-boggling investment into one technology. And what about China's deep sea? Did they also invest such eye-watering amounts? Well, in China, you can never be sure. One estimate suggests that they spent $1.6 billion. That's a lot of money, but still lower than American firms, which brings us to the final cost, the cost of training your own AI model. Again, let's look at the numbers. Google's Gemini used around $191 million. OpenAI's chat GPT, or GPT-4, in fact, took around $63 million. GPT-3 cost around $4.6 million, and DeepSeek around $6 million. At least that's what they claim publicly. Now, all these numbers make two trends very clear. One, AI investment is rising. The earlier AI models could be trained for cheap. But more advanced models will cost more, more money, of course. Billions of dollars for sure. And second, the cost of using AI is coming down, meaning there is an incentive to adopt it more widely. These trends pose a dilemma for countries like India. Do we adopt existing AI models or do we splurge on making our own? That is the question. Western firms are betting on the latter. They want more players to use their AI models. Only then will they get returns on their massive investments. For now, New Delhi's position is quite clear. It wants to create its own homegrown AI model. It doesn't want to depend on the likes of Chad, GPT and DeepSeek. Of course, there's a bigger question to ask here as well. Where does the spending spree stop? Frankly, no one knows. One possible goal could be artificial general intelligence or AGI. This is an AI that can mimic human intelligence. Perhaps that is the goal. Or maybe to create an Arnold Schwarzenegger style robot. Who knows? This is very different from the last century space race. When America landed on the moon, the space race was virtually settled. What is that moon landing moment for AI? 
how many billions before we reach that? Perhaps this summit will have some answers. We're calling the show Vantage. We hope you like what we put together for you. And I'm doubted as the minimum defense from that video. India's neighbors were the first the to send the special edition of Vantage live from the White House throughout the city. Yes, Hindu Mandir in Veronica to Tel Aviv. Pretty measure, but it's also the perfect way to drive. I don't think that Prime Minister Bhutan Sherin Tagwe. Well, welcome to 60% of the world's office. Prime Minister Modi did the iron. We were actually. What are you doing? How do you like? It's been one year since that meeting. Iron bars separate you from the outside. Out the vote effort. Trump hat. It says and at 4.3 trillion dollars. 4.3 300 billion by 2030. That's what we need to tackle climate change.